Hello, welcome back to Bulawi's Vintage Toys. And before I start, I just want to thank everybody for my birthday gifts. You've all done me proud. Oh, I'm just so awestruck with everything I've got. Um, <laughs> look at that. That is just blown me away. Um, I didn't open it. I was going to open it on the live, but I'm glad I didn't because I, I, was, in, I was in tears because it just... It's so beautiful and it means everything to me. But everything anybody sends to me, it just blows me away how how good this community is. And um, if you if you're thinking about subscribing, please do and join us, join our community. But today's video, anyway, let's get on with it. So today's video is going to be Top Brown. Yes, I got it. Thank you, John Baldry. So here we are with Back to the Shoot at 30, 35, which was last year. But never mind. It's still, it's, it is a sticker on the box. Um, they have the clock tower. The, the wrench, I think you do get the wrench with it that it was fixing his toilet when he slipped off the toilet and he saw the flux capacitor in his head. So all this is like the blueprints and ducks caught and things like that. But the box is excellent. I do have um, the 85 Marty and the 55 Biff, which I've done reviews of, which I will link to in the end of this video. The other two, I'm not so. I'm, I don't know. I probably will get them if, if they don't bring any more out. I'm hoping they will do George and Lorraine, but I doubt they'll do George simply because the actor Crispin Glover is not friendly with the Back to the Future people. You never know; it, it could happen. Uh, includes do not open envelope, flux capacitor drawing, wrench, goggles, blueprint, and interchangeable heads and hands, which. Necker get a lot of flack. They really do. Um, I've had no problems as such with breaking of arms and things like that that everybody gets. But um, who knows? <laughs> who knows when we open this? So we're gonna. I'm gonna open it now. Um, yeah, I've got one bit of tape at the top. I know I normally open at the bottom, but these go on display loose and uh, it's only since i started doing youtube i started opening my boxes because i know you want to uh, you want to see the goods obviously so let's get him out of the packet there this is blueprints which are pretty cool let's get the blueprints out but there, there's a backdrop of uh, doc's house in the back which is pretty good for diorama actually They do, um, they do got stuff, like a, I, I, I don't mind them, um, but we'll find out <laughs> at the end of this. The um, the backpack on Marty, I think, broke, but um, it's little things like that. Oh, hang on, we've got the, look at that. We've got the drawing of the flux capacitor, but these are really, really just bits of paper. And they... They do not open to an 85 envelope with a letter in. I don't know if you got the letter. Shame you don't get the, the other letter. But uh, there's the blueprints of his house. I, sh I think, are they on the, on the back, on his wall? So um, those are going to go back in the packet, I'm afraid. Still, those will get lost. I'll put them there for now, but they will be going back in there. So let's open. Oh, tied. It's tied down. See, I want to be really careful with all I've just said. I just don't want anything to fall off. Quite difficult to get out. See, I don't know why they put ties in because they're not going to fall out. 
Wow. Sorry about the noise. So, um, we'll look at this thing and we'll look at this other sculpts, the sculpt of the other head and the hands and everything like that. So you've got, oh, wow. So you've got double jointed elbows there, which is a bit weird actually. It looks a bit weird to me. It looks, don't look too bad like that, but yeah, it's very, very stiff. So again, I don't know if that's the reason for the arms coming off where people are trying to articulate them. And like, Nick had tried to get out of it by saying they're not toys. At least you're not, are they? They're not, you're not, kids aren't going to buy these to play with. They're collectibles, aren't they? They're adult collectibles, basically. But you want to pose them, don't you? Oh, it does, it does look... That, that face sculpt is absolutely brilliant. Looks a lot better than I thought it, it well, the, the original pictures that we saw. And I'll probably keep that head on, to be honest with you. Um, the coat is moulded on because as you know as you've just seen that is three pieces which is a bit weird but um, if you're not looking from the back it's <laughs> from the back it looks absolutely shocking really bad out there look at that but you're going to look it in from the front so it's not too bad and it does swivel as well that is really good articulation. Really good, but it's really stiff as well. So I just don't want to do it too much because I know they could have this um, reputation, don't they? So yeah, that coat is obviously two pieces, well, th more than two pieces, but you know what I mean? It's on the arms and that is like a vest coat. So it's not attached to the arms. So it does open... To show his um, 1950s top, which yes, that 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 is isn't moulded to the body, so that that is like feels like rubber, and he can actually feel the body underneath it. So I wonder if that would actually come off, but I'm not going to take it off. Obviously, the trousers are very. I mean, this is just perfect. It, they've got the exact clothes, his brown trousers, even down to the shoes and the socks. And he's got the rip from the clock tower when he's uh, when the the wire holds off there, doesn't it? And it rips his. So this is post sending Marty back to the future. So the gloved hands, um, that's a bit loose, is that? I don't really want to take the hands off because I've not got a good... Um, track record with taking hands off. So I'm going to leave that in. I know you might want to see the, the other hands in there, but um, I might take the... I'm going to take the head off. But yeah... The clothes are absolutely brilliant. This so far, so good. Let's look at the other the other head. Which again is really really good. And the sculpts are amazing. Same with the Marty and the uh, the Biff. I'll I'll put all three together at the end of this video. So you can see them all together. But um Let's put that head on and see which head we, we prefer. Let me know in the comments which head you prefer if I can get the other one in. Wow. Quite easy to take off, but um, not so easy to get back on. There we go. Oh, I, do, I, I think I like that one better. I don't know what, what you think, but I think... I think I like that one, but I like that one. I do like that one. Those crazy wild eyes, look at them. Future boy. So I think I'm going to put that back in. I think I'm going to... Great Scott! So, uh, yeah. 
I just I, I love I love his shoes and his just the look of him is brilliant. So let's let's look at the extra accessories. We've got the goggles, which um, don't go on. <laughs> don't go on. No, really. Only if you've got to uh, maybe put it from the other side. Maybe if you put it on the f head first. But then again, oh, I don't know. They don't stretch that much. And I don't really want to break it by stretching it. So it's just like an accessory. It's not actually going to go on. You probably could do, but I just don't want to ruin it. So that's going to go back in there. Next is a wrench, which again, you're not going to, it's just an accessory. You're not going to use it, are you? Doesn't hold it in that hand. You might hold it in the other hand, though. Yeah, it holds it in the other hand. So I suppose he does use that. I think it's this wrench he uses that um, for the wire, maybe. So I might have him holding that as a display. And the extra hands, he's obviously got two two watches, which is pretty cool. got one on his left hand normal and then he's got the the other hand facing the other way which I used to do back in the 80s which is pretty weird so I could put those in and have him looking at his watch going Ugh. maybe I'll do that maybe I'll do that I just I just don't like taking hands out I've got this track record of breaking hands yeah that's uh, that's in no you can't actually see it you can't actually see his, his watch from there so I could have him like that looking at his watch that's pretty cool So we need to take the other one out. Oh, and yeah, that has broken. <laughs> that is what I'm. That is what I'm saying. That's broken. It, I could probably. It'll probably fix back on. But uh, yeah, that's broken now. So, um, what I was saying at the beginning about Nick, <laughs> it's come true. Um, I knew what knew were going to happen. There you go. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be gloveless now. That's a real shame. And again, he can't look at his watch. He can't actually look at his watch, which is a bit of a shame. It looked, uh, yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's looking at his hand, doesn't he? He doesn't look like he's looking at his watch. Because he can't actually see it. Yeah, I'll probably have it looking like that. But uh, it's just a bit of a shame about that. <laughs> Real shame. Let's have a look, see if we can... It's not that I'm going to um, use it. See, it will probably go back on, but it's just that support there it's just not, was not strong enough. So, yeah, that's going to go in the back in the box, unfortunately. There you go. <laughs> just proved everything right about Necker, but um, yeah. Having said that, though. 
My Hot Toys layer did the exact same. See, I've just got this reputation now of breaking hands. So I am not going to change any more, <laughs> any more hands ever. And yeah, these are nice, but pretty pointless. I suppose if you're making a diorama, it might be nice. But um, there you go. Ace, I'm really glad that I got it. And yeah, everybody needs the tools out. <laughs> when they've they, uh, got the necker figures out. So yeah, that would be nice. So there you go. There's Biff and Marty in relation to him. Uh, yeah, the, the scale is quite right. They are quite hard to stand up. I'll give them that. They're uh, very difficult. Could do we come in with stance because there are peg holes in the feet. So I may, may invest in some stands for these because I want to get them posed properly. I mean, you can you can stand them up, but um, yeah, they do tend to fall over. And then they're very hard to pose. Very hard to pose. To be honest with you, there's only the reaction figures that do Back to the Future and maybe Funko. But these obviously blow those out of the park. And they're the only Back to the Future figures you're going to get proper Back to the Future figures. So, <sighs> flaws aside, they are well worth it. And um, I'm just going to say thank you to John Baldry for sending me this, Doc Brown. Because um, we never see Necker in the UK. Never. So again, thank you to John Baldry for sending me this over so swiftly. And I hope you enjoyed that little video as uh, much as I did. Breaking his hand, which um, you come to expect now with Necker. Which, it's not brilliant, but I kind of expected it. <laughs> I, I, did, I did say at the beginning of the video, didn't I? So I did expect it. So thank you for watching. Keep watching my content, please. Please subscribe. We're going to get to that 1,000 very soon. I want to get to the 900 first baby steps and then get to the 1,000. I'll be very, very happy. Until the next video, may the toys be with you.